Hello and welcome back to Here's My Magic 3, The Shadow of Death. Last time we successfully defended against all of the invading enemies. And we're pretty well off right now, I do believe. Uh, well actually, before I do that, how about this guy, who has 350 gold, so the sooner I get him, the more gold I will have. So I should do that right away. And for that matter, I should take this gold mine. Well, Orin is already in that area, though. And I don't have... Oh, I actually do have a lot of things I can get from here. So, that's a good place for this guy to be, then. RPs. So that I can get dragons... ...and unicorns... ...and pegasi... ...and the upgraded androids... ...I could also upgrade the dwarves. Would be much faster. Yeah, that's probably worth it. Speed of four. Well, that's not really slowing them down, so that's okay. Also, there's a Clover of Fortune. I totally missed it. <laughs> Runs in with the background. Um, luck is a lot more important than morale, because I already have expert leadership. And for that matter, it's more important than the Orb of Fire. Oh, wait, not with this. I need to visit it indeed. At this point, I think I have enough knowledge, I'll just go for more spell power. Now, I can try and go this way, or I can try and go that way. But this town is neutral. Pretty sure they have towns on both sides, but... The main enemy came from this way, so I think I'd rather go that way. Because, besides, it's also closer to my main town. More sharpshooters. They also have unicorns. Uh, yeah. I should take them. The rogues probably aren't worth it. Yeah, probably. And then I get more gold. I still cannot get a fort here. But I can get dragons. Mm -hmm. Well, let's take dragons then. The dwarves are not the best in this case, but I can combine them all. This town it has a dragon. So I should send someone over there. But Gunnar should probably just go and try to trade with Jello. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this is Estates, so I should send everyone over to here too. Like Oren. Unless he already has that. Someone has that, because I know what it is. He gets Gunner ticket. First. Alright, cool. And I might want to build level 2 Mage's Guilds now that I have some upgraded Dragon Clips. Maybe not right now. this work now. Hmm. Well, what's the speed? So it's 5-4. I think this will slow me down. Yes. The slowest is actually the unicorns, oddly enough. I'm just going to do this for the time being. And then have them upgrade the Pegasi. No. Oh. It's day six, it's not really worth going there. Why is there a pack of unicorns guarding a sawmill? That makes no sense. I can see why they did not take the sawmill though. Because that's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, so Gunnar is going this way. Visited, you might as well visit it then. Nagash should go and help collect everything. When he gets the states. But this place does not have an upgrade, so I should send Orin back up here. And finally, I can build a fort here. Everything else... Oh, this does not have a castle. Well, all in due time, I suppose. The pack of unicorns is not very threatening, but at the same time... I don't really want to deal with them. Oh, well. This is the guy who has a lot of spell points, but his power is only one, so that doesn't actually matter much. So what I want to do in this case is do something like this, now that I have better tactics. That way, there's no way to fight the sharpshooters. I could also do it like this, but one way or another, the dragons will be able to hit both of these. But that's better than hitting my sharpshooters. Now I also need to get these guys into safety, so... How about something like this? That might be possible to hit them. Hmm. However, if I do something like this... It shouldn't be possible anymore. One way or another, they're going to hit two. It's just that I want them to not hit my sharpshooters. Yeah, that or maybe one step back. Uh, 
That way they can only stand here, and that will definitely not hit them. And then make sure that my dragons are two spaces away from everything else. Oh man! And there we go, dragons in my head. Okay, you do that. Fortunately, there's no way to win in this turn. I got the Helm of Chaos, Pendant of Negativity, Buckler of the Null King, Diplomat's Ring, and Charm of Mana. Um, I guess... Buckler is better. And the Charm is better than the Orb. In my case. Day seven, so I think I'll just let Jelu stay here to regenerate all those spell points. And build the homestead, that's quite important. Not that matter, you can boost. Twelve is the fastest, yeah. No, oh, actually I can also upgrade my dragons. Hmm. Stay here for a while. You can go in a backwards direction. You can go here and try to get this. Yeah, I really just did that. And Nagash just takes over things. Love an ore. Does that mean I can build something? Yes, I can build a castle. So that's Devil's Creature Growth. What does the Citadel do? 50%. So it's the same going from Citadel to a castle and from a fort to a Citadel. But this is significantly cheaper. Wait, I need a homestead first, otherwise it's pointless. Okay, in that case, I can build a castle here. Okay, so first things first, what else? Into sharpshooters? Next, upgrade the dragons. Those are really noteworthy upgrades. And I cannot get anything else right now. Yeah. So now I 
know that the enemies have a town here somewhere. But this is an unclaimed town. I can see why it's not clean, but... Well, let's see what is in that direction. Oh! A red border guard. I have that. Yeah. So I can open it. I guess I should open it in case this is a quicker path to the enemies. But they might not have the ability to go here. Huh. Oh. Okay. That looks like a bug. That I can just waltz in and take all of this treasure. the purse of gold though but I do get plus four attack and defense that's pretty good Act of rust dragons and this is a sulfurous lair that's a magic forest well I kind of want both I probably want the magic forest more Because that way I can show off all of the nice spells that you can have with fairy dragons. get any of the dragons. Yeah, what is my objective anyway? Uh, they must be defeated and Ring of Life located. So there's Ring of Life somewhere. I need to not take it. <laughs> Alright, well in that case other things in this area. And I guess I can build this or something. And in the town that I just built a fort in, I can't do anything. Because I have no gold. Alright, well, this will be interesting. Let's go fight these guys. Much to your dismay, the magic forest is guarded by a few fairy dragons. Yeah, that is to my dismay indeed. Well, let's see, what's their speed? 15. Minus 17. Nice. Uh, this is terrible. Actually, no, wait. I can put one dragon here, another dragon here, and then I'm fine. And since I go first, I don't need to worry about them doing something. Hmm. I can't send any of the other troops there. However, knowing that they can cast Chain Lightning and probably Fireball, I don't want to be anywhere close to the other troops. So I'm just going to stagger them a bit. And very important is that I put Anti Magic. Nineteen damage. Okay. Oh wait, I can't stand here. So never mind. Then I can do something. Um. But should I go here? Because anything standing 
here or there will take damage. But that's fine. Yeah, let's do this. Rude. But I can go here and... This is fine. Nice. Now I can get a fairy dragon. Cost 10,000 gold and 8 gems. But it's a fairy dragon. So it's kind of well worth it. Obviously I don't want to attack this just yet. Soul for a Slayer would be cool, but I don't have any slots anymore. Let's just explore the place a bit. Yes. Oh. There's a green border guard and a quest guard, and that's the Ring of Life that I am looking for. Also light blue. Which I don't have. Huh. Also, there's a golden bow, which does absolutely nothing, I believe, for sharpshooters. Or is it plus two archery? Because that would be pretty nice. I don't need any rings, though. So I'm just going to leave these guys alone. Oh, maybe I should take the Sulphur Slayer. Now that I have the ability to. Yeah, I probably should. that I haven't taken yet. So Jelly was level 17, but I can get much higher. That said, I will fight a lot of dragons, so I will probably get much higher anyway. <laughs> okay, you do that. But yeah, now Jelly really needs to go back and finish all the enemies. How far away is this guy? Yeah, quite far. To upgrade something, I guess the centaur stables are the best option here. So I can get these and then transport them all to Jello. Alright, let's go fight some rust dragons. I, think I want to have the general same layout as I did before. Anti-dragon layout. Oh gosh, I should go like this. Yeah, I cannot really put my fairy dragon here. 
I? No, because they will go here and then I will fight my own troops. Okay, let's see, what can I do? I have the ability to cast a lot of fire magic, but there's nothing that will be helpful in this case. I think precision is still my best bet, because, well, they're dragons, I cannot use magic on them. Having something like Mass Blast would be really nice, but precision is really the next best thing. Breath attack reduces defense by 3. So it is basically a portable... Uh, disrupting ray. And this actually tells me that this will cast lightning bolts, so that's nice. I have no idea how I can cast lightning bolt on dragons, but okay. I'll take it. And now, I can do precision. I could also do this. Yeah, because if my sharpshooters with precision did 689 damage. Rose Dragon is not going to go down from the other ones that do not have that ability. So I have to do this. Oh! Right, they already retaliated. That's nice. And excellent! Rose Dragons have been defeated, and now I, in theory, can get them. But they cost 14 silver and 15,000 gold. That's kind of hilarious. Alright, well, time to get back and finish off the enemies. Yeah, just do that. I need to be wary of this guy. It's not much. I don't have much in this town either. However, I do have a castle, so I think that's good enough, so I can actually spend all of my money buying things here. Hmm, well, the dragons are not upgraded. rather take the Pegasi and then the dragon if I can. And a few centaurs. And then go here. Oh. Now these guys are not any better. Everything here. And those upgrade to sharpshooters. Balance. And we're good to go. There we go, six. Anything else I would like to pick up here? Not really, but I do want the dragon. in the town that I can get? Only if I upgrade and I don't have crystal. Huh. So then there's no point. Well, the 
unicorns are in the way. I suppose I can take them out. Let me get to the stable. And get rid of all the enemies. can just put their troops into towns. is going up, but I already have a pretty good army up there, so I'm not too worried. Yeah, I'm going this way anyway. So in the meanwhile, Oren can go here. Get all of these elves. Get all the centaur captains. Get all the dragons. And go trade again. Oh. Well. That's still better. Give them so that you can focus on taking the gold mine. And these elves. Then I can just get rid of this guy. Oh, earth magic. I'll take us. Oh, where is That's right. And Nagash is just going to camp here until I get enough to buy that Rust Dragon. And actually, that will be all for now. Next time, we will probably finish the orange. And we'll go and pick up some power-ups. See you all then. Later.